Hello and welcome to a new model build, part one. That's where they usually start, part one of this. There it is. Mr. Mr. I always say Mr. M3 Lee early production, full interior, 135th scale, mini art, model tank. Look at that. Absolutely amazing. This is going to be a challenge for me, um, but I like a challenge. Um, I'm going to go through this. As far as I know, this has around about uh, 1,100 pieces, so I've been told. Now, if you're interested, um, you go to the playlist and you will see the unboxing of this kit where I go through and look at all the parts and all we go through the instruction manual and everything and um, and then depending uh, where we're at in the build the whole build will be in that playlist as well so here we go this is the beginning this is part one and uh, first thing I'm gonna do and I won't show it because uh, a build of this complexity is gonna would take 20 30 videos to to build so I'm not gonna be going through every bit of detail and talking so much okay we're gonna see these we're gonna be watching this go together that's the important part okay and uh, how it all fits and just the whole process of building this hopefully um, anybody else who wants to go out and buy this kit will be able to um, learn something from the mistakes that I might make. <laughs> Talking about the kit, there's the number. So it's 35206. So if you jot that down in Google or Scalmates, um, that'll bring up all the information about this tank. Now also up on Scalmates, there's a very good, um, someone has put up the instructions as a PDF file that you can download so you can uh, easily um, work off your instructions off your computer screen if if you got that set up I mean I like working off the instructions but by the time you get a halfway through your pages start getting mangled and you know by the end of the, the a lot of the times they're falling apart although these look, look very good quality so this is all set to go i'll open it up here okay i've taken the all this was in one plastic bag so it's all come out what i will do is just to make it easier for myself and maybe you do this too is i'll come along and i'll get some um, yellow masking tape and what i do is i label all the sprues so if this one for example is look you see how hard that is to see and read the letter of what sprue this is i mean i've i can just barely make out that sprue number letter a so what i do is i'll come along and i'll put some masking tape around there and i'll write a just that so i can reach in there and and reach for the sprues that i need as i need them without having to search through tons um, we've got photo etch in here as well. There's some small amount of photo etch in here. And there's also some clear parts and our decals. I have no aftermarket. This will be built straight out from the box. But we'll see how we go. Um, it has been suggested that there's probably an idea to do a bit of stowage items on there which are available. So that, that could come later. Um, and another thing is the paint and everything I need, which I will just go and grab and uh, we'll have a look at that. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so here is all uh, some of the supplies I've bought for the kit. Um, to start with, we've got panel line accent color. We've got panel line accent color brown. So we've got black and brown. That's gonna be for the weathering. We've got X20 thinner we'll be needing to do use that all right i'll move those out of the way in a sec and then we've got mr surfacer 1200 in the gray 
I already have um, Mr. Surfacer in the black, which is what I'll use mostly, although the interior of this tank is going to be white, so probably best to use the white, uh, the gray, but we'll see. Um, but I do have plenty of black for this. So you might also know we have a different camera view, which I will bring in, I will use where I can, so we can get in some closer, different angles of looking at things rather than top down. Here we go with our paints. Everything is Tamiya, all right? I built my last model mostly using Mr. Hobby. And as much as it was good paint and I enjoyed using it, the smell was a bit strong. It was a bit overwhelming, the smell. And I'm in a studio apartment here. And even though I do it outside on the balcony with my airbrush, it found, I found it a bit strong. So. I've gone back to my the old favorite of Tamiya. So along with so basically what we have here is every recommended color in the instructions, all right? Plus a few extras in here. So if we go through quickly and have a look, we've got uh, the X12 gold leaf, okay? We've got uh, XF10 flat brown. We have XF84 Dark Iron. Then we have XF16 Flat Aluminium. This is the XF7 Flat Red. Keep all these together. All right. Then we have Black, which is XF1 Flat Black. I do have Gloss Black. Uh, just offhand, I'm not sure if that was also a color recommended, but there is Gloss Black. I do have that as well. Um, we have XF56, which is a metallic gray. Okay. We have olive drab, which we're gonna need. Um, this is one, I have a second jar of this as well. So we obviously gonna need, that's mostly the main color of our vehicle. Then we have flat white, F2. I also have a gloss white. Uh, out as spare. Um, then we have medium grey XF20. Okay, so that's good. And we also have this looks like a deck tan. Yeah, wooden deck tan XF78. Okay, also going to be needed. So that's those. Now we also have here XF86, which is flat clear got two of those that's what we're going to do basically the finish of the tank will be a flat clear so that's what we'll use um, and I also have uh, X22 X80 XF86 that's what I meant to say and then we got X22 which is a, a normal clear which I still have more of as well but this is good for areas that you might want we might want to put decals on uh, and also for uh, using the washers, sometimes it goes better down on a clear and then once you've done all your panel line wash and oils and so forth, then you go over it with your flat clear. Okay, so that's all those sorted. Uh, there we go. And that, and that, and that. <laughs> all right, so that's all covered. Um, other than that, yeah, we'll, we'll have a different view, we'll be able to use this little camera, which should work fine for going in and looking at different angles and so forth of the build as we go. This is a, um, a DJI Osmo Action Cam, it's the original one, so they're up to number four now, but the original one was always a good one, and once I did the firmware update on this camera, um, it's it's fine. It, it's really well. You can see the quality is good. So, uh, and particularly in this build, where I'll be definitely showing a lot more of parts going together, rather than coming along and say, right, so this is what we've got to do. This is how we're going to do it, and then I come back and show you if it finished. There's the piece done. We're actually, I'm going to show you me gluing parts together, okay? 
So spending a little bit more time on the editing side of things. Uh, less talk, more um, time lapse and, and viewing of parts going together. Okay, all right, now let's go back to the other camera and, uh, and have a look at where we've got to start. All right, I'll be back in a sec. All right, so here's all our parts, well, for the very first part of step one. So one thing to be careful of here when you're straight off the bat is these little pieces here, all right, it's almost impossible to tell um, you, if you don't cut them properly because you've got to look very, very carefully. You can't tell where the sprue begins and the part starts, all right. You could easily cut these off wrongly, all right. Now, they go on here and here, but at the moment, on first I want to do is just pop these on here like this. Okay. And we'll just use some Mr. Cement. Touch that. Now, remember that Mr. Cement has a capillary effect, so you really don't need to smother it on. It, it will literally get, go everywhere once you put a little dot there and a dot on the top. That's it. That's all you're going to need. Okay. And then put that one on there. That's where it's going to go. Dot in there. Dot in there. Yeah, it's on. And this piece is going to go in there. So, touch a bit in there. Good. And then these pieces, which are super tiny need to go in those two little holes there there's one there and one there and they're both pointing up yes they're both pointing up so i need to hold them properly and get them like that sorry if you can't see <laughs> i'll just put a dab of glue in there and First one, like that. Certainly going to have to get used to a uh, tiny detail that uh, many artists are well known for, not just the part count, but just the size of everything is just minute. Okay, that one's on. Test fit first. See, it's easy enough to hold it by this, but then when you go to put it on there, it's not going to go straight. So I need to be holding it like that there. Let me get a little bit of that in there. Touch that. Get it straight like that. That looks all right. Yep. All right. That's it, I'll let that dry. 
Now we've got another piece to put together, so I'll be back with those parts. Okay, so that part is glued together now. But it's not finished yet because we've actually got to drill some holes. So in those two little points on the top there, we need to put uh, two 0.7 millimeter holes. So I'll do that shortly. But before I do that, I just want to mention these two pieces here that we had to do next. Um, just to be careful, uh, just so you'll be careful there. When, when you take these or the sprue nubs off, see these little pieces on here? You can see there's one there and one there. Don't accidentally take them off as well, all right? Because they're locating points where it goes on through onto the floor. So be careful when you take these three off, don't go sanding those two off as well. Um, it's the same on the other side. So these two get glued together. See those two? Okay, good. I almost, <laughs> oh yeah, uh, I, I saw that oh geez, you could easily take them off by mistake. All right, and uh, I'll get the drill bits and do these. So I'll be back in a second with that. Okay, so I'm using the icky sticky tungsten micro drill bits, 1.707 mil drill bit there, and I've already drilled them out. Just the two in the top of this which seems to be uh, part of the transmission because there's a actual I had to look ahead there's a seat that goes over on the top of this uh, at some point later on so um, just one thing to be aware of when you drill the holes in there um, make sure that your piece is completely dry okay because I started to drill this one here and it wasn't going in properly and it's because it's a join where the two halves of this were joined and I think it, the plastic had been softened by the um, by the glue and that made it uh, difficult to get the hole in. I've, I've done it as best I can we'll see what happens when we got to go put the piece on it should be okay so that's on um, that's our drill bits and now we'll, I'm going to go through trim these up carefully not to take off those pieces that shouldn't come off and be back when, when they're done. Okay, so here's all the parts to the floor. There's three parts there. 
which is where all of these will go down onto, uh, including this little piece here, which I accidentally broke and I had to, I broke one of those arms off. So I've reattached it and I'm just going to leave that, make sure that's dry properly. But um, you've got to be so careful. Some of these pieces are so fragile, taking them off the sprue. <laughs> yeah. So what I'll do now is I'll clean up all the end pieces of all the nubs off the ends of these and get these ready. And then these get pretty much glued together and all this will go down on top. So um, yeah, let me um, get this cleaned up and then we'll, we'll start attaching parts. I think that's all we have in the way of little bits and pieces for part for step one on the instructions. I just looking now, I do see another piece, A7. Yeah, there's more little pieces to go on here as part of this, so we're not finished yet. <laughs> All right, back shortly. Okay, so having uh, accidentally removed those um, connection points, um, I've managed to get this on. It was just a little bit tricky. I just had to make sure everything was lined up accurately um, along here and it was in position. So I just sort of held it exactly where those tabs were so you could tell. And then I just come along with some instant glue and just put it in and it's fine. And now I've just slid the floor into the slot underneath and that's gone in there straight so it's looking good. So I'm just going to make sure that dries for a while now and sets before I put the, um, the actual transmission on, which should go on next, I'm assuming. Yeah, so this is the transmission here. And we just need to connect that onto there. And then onto the back of the transmission will be that tunnel where the tail shaft runs. There it is there, and that will go some way like that. But in the meantime, this floor section here, it looks like that's going to need to be connected. Yeah, I'm going to have to glue that in place before I put that on. Looking well. Uh, other than that, all the other parts are on. As soon as I get these glued on, that's uh, step one done. All right, we'll come back when that's when it's on shortly. All right, so there's the floors connected. The transmission is in. That little bit there, I'm not sure what that is, but that's down. There's our um, tail shaft tunnel through there, and it's all glued down as well. So very happy with the result. That completes step one on the instructions. Um, there was quite a bit to do on that, um, quite a few parts to put together. I can't imagine the next steps will be going that slow. we we'll probably get a few steps in the next video. But uh, yeah, that's come up really well. So thanks guys, I'll wind up the video here and we'll come back part two and we'll do the next, looks like the next uh, three or four steps um, working around here, putting in, uh, it looks like some uh, platform to walk on, like corrugated area. It looks like a, a gear shift going in there. All right. So thanks, guys. Um, don't forget to comment down below, and um, I'll see you in the next video. Okay. Bye for now. Cheers, guys.